Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download and install a software called GIMP. Yes, GIMP is pretty much a multi-platform photo tool that kind of like allows you to edit photos and customize and colors and structure stuff. It's pretty much like a cheaper route from instead of paying for like um, Photoshop from Adobe, an expensive program. Or well, if not, you would actually choose the subscription on there to use. But it has quite a few abilities to do like this to edit photos and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. So first thing you do is go ahead and open up a browser. I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And then once you get there, it's going to load up for a little bit. You can go to the site called GIMP.org. And here it is, GIMP, and then you'll see the download. If not, I think we can choose the download too and it gets it to the same location. You see, it pretty much takes it to the same spot. And you have the option if you want to download it through BitTorrent, pretty much torrenting to it, or you can just download it directly. I would just download it directly because it's not a big, massive file. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and let it do its work right there. It'll probably take about a couple minutes, depending on there. Let's see how long it takes. In case that doesn't work on here, going to their site, there's another option you can find it from here, from filehippo.com. It's a very cool site that I use all the time. And once you get to there, I'm just going to go ahead and type in GIMP. And they have, here's wonderful ads. I love ads. I'm probably going to put an ad block for this. Let's X these out. You'll go to GIMP. That's 32 or 64 bit. I think you could just use a regular GIMP, and I'll probably have a platform that will work for both. But you can get it from the site right here too. But it seems that the program has already finished downloading, so let's go see if I can load it up. Alrighty, so the program just finished. Let's go ahead and just click it to open up the program. If you didn't save the file right here, it might be saved in your downloads, depending where it's at. It tells you want to install for me or for all users. I'm gonna go ahead and install it for all users. And you'll probably be prompted like this. Go ahead and press yes. And before I continue doing this, I'm just going to go ahead and exit the browser because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to continue going by the instructions by installing this program. So right now you can choose what language you want. I'm going to leave it as English for me and press OK. And it tells us awesome cool background about it. You customize. You get the rest. I'm just going to leave it as is and just press install. And let us do its own work right here. It might take a few minutes. So let's see how it goes. Alrighty, it seems the program has finally got installed. It took a few minutes for this to actually do its work. So it says it's finished. Let's go ahead and go to the start menu and see if we can find it. Well, it seems it's already on the recent files right here. But in case it's not there, let's go ahead and scroll down where the G's are at. And then here is the GIMP. Let's see if the program will open up. And here it is loading up. And here is the program right here. The program's installed, it has the ability right here. And you have the options to open up programs and to be able to edit it. And it's a very good program to go into more depth on this. I'm not a big person who works on this program. I might make some video tutorials of how to put some add-ons that are used for this. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.